guy? Purple guy? Alright. Headphones and stuff are recommended. As long as you don't blast my ears with a jump scare, then better. Then I'm fine with that. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dormitibus Remastered. Now I know I'm a bit late to the party, but but hey, there's um stuff here. So uh, let's hold on. Let's just have a Freddy. He will appear. Run to the other side. And you will immediately leave sound cue metallic sound. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's hop into Dormitibus. The Dormitibus. It makes laser. Alright. A loud creak. What about metallic sound? Thank you for showing the tips on the menu. I mean, thing. Uh oh, somebody's legs are sticking out of the dumpster. What happened here? Oh, it's gone. Uh. Um, okay. Oh, I was just about to say. Twelve nights earlier. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go. Hello. Huh. I'm gonna actually open the connection. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, my name is Peter, and I was a manager for Freddy's back in 1993. So, if you're wondering, yes, you're dead. I'm not sure how you died, but maybe something happened. Wait, wait, it can't be. John? Christ, that would explain why everything looks worse. If you died by burning, then, then that means he's gonna be here soon. Ah, damn it. Well, you're in whatever godforsaken creation of Fredbear's Diner. Worked by an entity with each passing death at any Freddy's establishment. This is like an eternal purgatory for both you and me. We can't see each other, though. This place only lets us see what it wants us to see. I'm hoping this goes well, but I'd rather not think of the implications. As you can probably tell, you have a monitor in that office. You can use it to sort of learn the layout of this hell house. Trust me, you'll be better off doing that. There's only one of them that woke up tonight, and that would be Freddy. He comes by your left. Just swap sides when you're at the monitor, and he should leave. Oh, oh I almost forgot. Since you fucked things up by dying, I've been working on a short plan as we speak. There's, there is a tape in the office. Grab it and play it once Freddy sleeps. There's some things you need to remember. I also have my own set of tapes to collect, so... I better get to finding them now. We'll talk later. Alright, good night, my fellow, uh... Uh, prisoner in here. Oh, Freddy active? Now, I never played the original Dormitivus, but I gotta say... I did watch videos on it, but this looks a lot better. Now... The thing I did like a, about the original Dormit of the So is that it had like, I don't know, this like weird like thing on the doors and like weird Dormented art style which made it feel like as if it really was an entity that twisted the entire place but this is perfectly fine I guess. Uh, oh I saw that man. Hello? Fred? I don't know where Mr. Freddy Fazbear went. 
pretty fast, bro. Where did you go? I saw your red eye. Mm. I'm guessing he's gone. Uh, okay. I mean, I didn't look at him, I just used a sound. The phrase not there. I hate how you have to, like, do that every time. I wish it was, like, a key shortcut. To, to like, get rid of this. Come on, man. Yeah, no way. There he is. All right. <clears throat> Freddy Fazbear, how's it going? How's it going, bro? Come on. You can't get me. I'm just going to run all the way to the other side of the room. And then you won't be able to uh, uh, do anything to me for whatever reason. Hey, don't ask me why. It's, it's just how it works. Hey, Freddy seems to not like being watched. Heck, I thought I saw a group something. Alright, Freddy, you gonna come? Or... I wonder if he, if this is slowing him down somehow. It'd be interesting. Uh-huh. Freddy... No, 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 no. Holy crap, okay, that's just scary. <laughs> uh, Freddy, Freddy, what are you doing now? You plotting something against me? Yeah, that was spooky. I wish, yeah. Oh, there he is. There's Fred Bear. Yeah, it's just really annoying with these cameras. I hope this game goes easy on me at the very least. <laughs> I'd hate for this game to, like, you know, be too hard on me. Otherwise, I might not finish it. I don't know. Hello, Freddy Fazbear. Nuh uh. He's gone. You're really not a fan of. Yep, it's a seven hour night. I don't know why, but my hand hurts. Caught you, Fredbear. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost like died to Freddy somehow. I'm like, what? Unlocked characters in the extras. Oh, I did? Dear god, there's a lot of characters. Well, no. Oh, here he is. Have a Freddy. Oh, there's tapes right here. Tapes collected. Uh. Oh. Wait, what? Is it? I'm not. I can't tell. 
en fait. This is car. God, this is stupid. Okay. This is Garvey Wright. And I guess I'm talking to my future self. <laughs> It's a silly idea, I know. I sort of want to keep this as a time capsule, I suppose. Something I can look back on. It's a weird idea, but maybe it'll help. Give some good use to this recorder Alex gave me. Everyone gave me things. I suppose it was my birthday. I'm not sure if they got that off the papers or not, but I'm not sure how they knew. It doesn't seem to matter. I appreciate it. Alex got me this recorder. Peter got me some pocket change, I guess, to buy what I want, which is new. And John got me this toy. I don't think he 100% knows what older people like me are into. Guys. This seems more like something he would have wanted to get for himself, but he's a nice kid, and it's a nice gift. It's a thought that counts. I want to help these people out. They went through all the effort of bringing me in. It would only make sense that I help lighten the load around the house. So I'm thinking of entering the family business. <laughs> Wish me luck. How do? Right. Uh, Afton is being sus. Oh, uh, I'm I'm thrown out of there. Okay. So it was Afton's birthday. I, I'm guessing it was it's Afton in the tapes because the um the game uh, the original lore, which was uh <laughs> very. Very interesting lore to have a go to your way to your office to the right door. Once she's there, run to the other side and look to the left. You will see her staring back at you. Stare at her for a few seconds and she will leave. But make sure to run back to the other side. Or else her cupcake will get you. Hold up. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. All um, right. Uh oh. I'm back. Hopefully you survived last night. Now you might be wondering why they're all after you when you probably didn't do anything to them. Well, let's just say they see you as sort of a fix. Everything MacGuffin for their own damn souls. See. You and I have this source known as plasma because we died, which makes them want to kill us again. But unlike us, they've they've been corrupted. They're in pain, John, and they want to be free. That's why they're after you. They only want to fix their damaged souls. Uh, um. Anyway, you got some newer problems to deal with. There's this bear with. No ears. I don't really know where it came from, so I decided to call it Am I Real? God damn it. Not clever, I know, but they're probably the worst of your troubles as time goes on. <sighs> just, just keep your cameras on them at all times. I'm not sure how you'll keep track of them, though. Uh, there. Then there's Chica. They're blind for some reason, and I think the cupcake might be alive. When you see her on your right, just look at her from the other side and run back when she leaves. The cupcake will try to attack you if you don't. I th think someone lost their nose to that thing once. With, with that all the way, you're you're all set for tonight.
I'm still planning, so I'll let you know when I think of something, John. No, see ya, mate. Alright. I should check on, I'm just gonna check on, uh, am I real, is what he calls it, frequently. No, 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 no. Wait, do I actually have to look to my le re left and then right, specifically? I do want to see them at my door, though, I'm not gonna lie. The Chica. I wonder if Freddy's not active this night, isn't he? Yep, nope. It's only Chica and, uh, uh, the, or the very first Freddy Fazbear. The, the one that is either real or not real. His camera pointed directly at his crotch. I don't know why he's showing it off, but it is a tiny dick. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Please do not kill me. Am I? God damn it, he's probably gonna kill me. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh oh, what's that? You forgive me? Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was genuinely almost scared when I said that, and he moved. I think he only changes when he leaves the camera or goes to another camera. I don't know. Oh, and if I remember from uh, the original Dormitibus, if you get caught by him, uh, there's this mini game where you have to like spam click the crap out of his nose, which I think is pretty hilarious, but it's there. Come on, you gonna come get me, uh, Chica? Also, a lot of things will be raw footage, by the way, on my channel. Uh, beside, besides, um, when I die and I cut directly at the timestamp, like, or that, wherever I see it, like, right there. The what? Are you okay? Are you okay? You, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Hey, uh, it's gone now. Uh oh. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I was just about to say. He's like, look at me. It's something like that. I don't know what the hell he was doing, but. It was weird. Chica. Chica, I don't want any pizza for dinner. I just ate Little Caesars and. Uh, you do not want that pizza. That is cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I just ate Little Caesars. I don't, it, the quality of the pizzas used to be good, like, rarely. But, for some reason, the, um, the pizza I just ate, it was, it, it was mid- <laughs> Somebody else move? No. I thought it said somebody moved. Okay, I'll stop doing that. I probably could just cause a bunch of seizures. No, ah, -uh. bad chicken. Bad. Mo what? No! 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 I don't know what that was, but there was something crawling around, and I did not like it. I don't know, it looked like it was coming right at... I don't know, it sounded like... I could hear it from my right to my left ear, I didn't know if it was going from this door 
to like this door or if it was coming like right at me which was honestly terrifying he is real is um and my real is uh doing his enjoyable thing I don't know there's one more hour left is that vodka give me some of that oh 7 a.m. All right, uh, I might do, yeah, I, I'm going to do night three in this video, because why not? Extras. Ah, uh, am I real? One cake bear, oh, cake bear. Havoc Chica, holy moly. Long, blind, long wings reflect how she was, how she was shoved. Oh, yikes. Her name is V. Maria. Poorly made manifestation of a soul when alive. This kid's name was Ted. Darn. First animatronic built in 1979 with an engineer from 1993. Interesting. Now, they're, uh, let's go into the extras, because they got the second tape. Let's give a listen. I'm not going to complete this game in one go, so I'm going to, like, do this individually. Hey there, I guess. My, me, I guess. Ah, this is weird. Can we both just acknowledge this is a weird thing that's happening? Good news, I got the job. Y you know that. Of course, you know that, because it's already happened to you, but... Look, I got the job. The only position that they had available was janitor, which... I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed by initially. I would have given anything to be able to perform up on that stage, giving kids the show of a lifetime, but... The work isn't that hard. All I gotta do is just clean up the occasional mess around the place. It's really simple, actually. Well, mostly simple. I still have to deal with the occasional rowdy youth, I guess. I'm sure that they're fine when they're at home or hanging out with their friends, but I, I notice that whenever they're here, I don't know, they just kind of get rowdy. It's not my business to say, obviously, but they should probably be a little bit more respectful of their surroundings. I hope I don't have to clean up nearly as much as I did for my first day for the next while. And some of them were picking on each other. It wasn't nice to watch. I had to go away for a bit. Sort of walk into a <clears throat> closet to compose myself. Peter helped me. He helped me get back there and... I guess... get back to reality. It's a weird way to describe it, but... I, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. I hope that their parents know what they're doing and do something about that behavior. Because we shouldn't be accepting that in an establishment like this. I, I guess it's just not my place to say it again. But anyways, I... <clears throat> Peter? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting back soon. I'm on... Yeah, I'm on my break. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I need to find a better place to record these fun. Oh. Alright. Uh... I... 
Oh, I used to click. All right. Well, Afton, uh, don't go down that route is all I can say. Um, all right, uh, tutorial, because... All right, we've got Soul Cage. It will start in camera three and make his way to your office. Once he is there, you have to look to the right and he'll jump at you. Once he's jumped at you, he'll climb to the roof. Look at him play dead until he leaves. Sound cue door creak from his entrance. Footsteps for leaving. Okay. Uh, Dawnbreaker. Um... He will start at camera 7 and make his way towards your office. Once he is there, you have to look to the the right when in front of the computer to make him run to the other side. The left one in front of the computer and fully, and fully pick himself out. You then have to stare at him until he leaves. Sound cue door creak to the right. Alright. Dawnbreaker. Exactly 6 a.m. bells will begin to ring and he will spawn. He will either be on the left, right, on the roof, or behind the window. You must look at him or and it will immediately turn to 7 a.m. Some bells waistline. Alright. Oh, okay. So this is like a uh, cheat. So I just have to find him. <clears throat> hmm. I know, Soul Cage. The the Fazbear attraction, except it has razor sharp teeth. I always loved Soul Cage's design. Again, things are really starting to speed up now, so I'll uh -oh. try to explain things faster for you. There's this weird purple one. They always appear at 6 a.m. for everyone. I'm not sure how it has the power to break into reality, but that's where I hear him every time. Looking at him will jump time for it since it stabilizes everyone's vision of this place. Then there's this weird metal rod with hands that built, built itself. If I'm being honest, it just looks like a bunch of props with small legs, or whatever those are. Almost like it's a soul cage of some sort. It'll try to scare you to death, so just, just look up afterwards and he should leave because he hates being watched. Now, let me explain something to you. All the monsters you see, oh. they're all victims of the restaurant murders. Only that shattered mask Hi. made them what they are. It got all that plasma to physically shape them from this odd molten rabbit who has been here a really long time. It doesn't take too kindly to having plasma stolen, so I think it intentionally corrupted the plasma, causing all this to happen in the first place. Turning them all into these sort of Frankenstein abominations. Oh, right, right, right. I almost forgot. Bonnie woke up too. He'll come by the right side, then run to the left side. Just look at him whenever ever he goes and he'll give up. I'm still working on something to think of to help get out. Uh, until then, good luck, John. Thank you. Good luck to you too, mate. Okay. Ooh, all right. Hi, hi, little guy. How's it going up there? Uh, go. Uh, stare, stare, stare at the bunny, uh, the Benui. Okay, Benui is gone. W why is my camera like this? What happened to it? It's just dark. 
and my camera is just dark. Something bad happened to it. Yeah, the lights got messed up in that room. No. Hi. You're awake. Hey, buddy. Do you like, um... Dottos. Here he comes. Shiver me. Come on, Bonnie. Whew. Go away. Oh, oh no, what am I doing? Okay. Yeah, it spun me around and I got scared. No, go, 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 go. Okay, he's gone, I think. Yes. Whew. I don't know why that. These guys look so scary. Hey, you're still normal. Alright, come on. 3 a.m. So as soon as it hits 6, I have to find whatever this thing is. thought I was dead. Thank God he gives you enough time to react. Hello? Yeah, these lights are screwed up. Yep, they're starting to get more aggressive. 4 a.m. Uh, there's Benui. Hi, buddy. Go away now. Okay. You're good. Benui is still there. I just keep calling him Benui because I think it's a terrible one, I guess. 5 a.m. Too slow. Come on. Okay. I see ya. Oh, you're you're already peeled up. Okay. You already got washed up then. Six a.m. Six a.m. Ooh, hi. Okay. So he's like a little cheat. I like that the characters and the extras. Okay, extras. Okay, let's go to tapes first, cause uh, and then I'm gonna end this video here after checking out the characters. Hey, and it's uh, it's been a while. I haven't turned on this thing in a really long time. I wasn't sure how. I wonder how things are going over there, I guess. I mean, obviously I can't know necessarily how things are going, but I, I can hope that... Look, it's stupid, alright. 
Let me just get to what's been going on. My pay has been increasing by quite a bit, actually. Uh, apparently, being a janitor has its quirks. I've managed to make quite a bit of pocket change for myself. Hopefully that'll help with the increasing issues that have been going on financially. Especially with John's birthday coming around soon. <clears throat> We're going to have to spend it in the establishment this time, which... I know he's not the biggest fan of it. I imagine that he's not too happy that he has to spend most of his time after school there since all of his family works at the establishment, and I can tell that he doesn't like the animatronics. I mean, I don't necessarily like them either, but they do give off some feeling, I'm not totally certain. Hopefully this new rabbit that I'm helping fix up will lighten that up, I guess. Hopefully. But it won't help because he's been having a hard time again. Which is a shame because I mean, I already taught someone how to behave around here. One of the kids that was being mean to him. I tried to tell him how not to act, but he still insists on hurting him. I'm... I'm not... I'm not sure what to think right now. But I just want to make this birthday good for John. Better than it was for me, at least. I can see a lot of myself in him, you know. I hope whenever you're listening to this again that John's doing better. Yeah. But I guess his birthday's coming up and hopefully things will turn around from there. I see, I see, I see. Um... All right, time to go back. Uh. Oh. Uh. Does that work? Okay, there we go. Uh, it's so weird. Anyways, let's take a look at these. Back in 1987, they got too close to the truth. When alive, his name was Michael. An amalgamation of props with stand legs. When alive, his name was Jake. Dawnbreaker. He looks cool. The manifestation of a long lost family member. His humanity died here. Damn. Alright. Well guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, goodbye guys.